What's up guys, Court Order here. If you've been watching the show over the last six months, we have been on fire with the old coins. Offhand this year alone, I can remember Drape Bus Large Cents, Liberty Cap Large Cents, New Jersey State Copper, Connecticut State Coppers. We even got one Vermont State Copper. I think it was 1787. And then some of the super rare coins like the 1694 William and Mary Halfpenny. The 1793 left facing Liberty Cap half cent, one of the rarest coins that we found in a long time. Doug's massive Mexican silver eight real with the big sunburst on the back. Probably the biggest silver coin that we've ever found. And then just last week, the 1783 Nova Constellatio, the first coin ever authorized by the newly formed United States government. Well, you're probably thinking we found every coin ever made and let me tell you it is far from it there are still some really old and really rare coins that circulated in the colonies and this week we are on the hunt for one coin specifically the pine tree shilling now the pine tree coin goes all the way back to 1652 made in southern new england by the massachusetts bay colony now even though the coins were supposed to be dispersed all throughout the colonies well back then things just didn't travel very well so in modern day, if you want to have a chance to find one of these coins, it's going to be in that southern New England area. And when I heard there was going to be a natural metal detecting hunt at a colonial New England farm, well, I called Doug and I made sure we were shooting up there. Do we find one of the coins? Are we near someone that finds a coin? Well, you got to watch and find out, but it was one heck of an adventure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Me and Dog Tag Doug in New England on the hunt for the pine tree shilling. And I will see you at the end. Later. And this is my friend Brian, who is the organizer of the hunt. First time I met him, super nice guy. Brian's website, Dirt Fishing Adventures. He did a lot of smaller hunts. He's now upping his game to some of the bigger hunts. This one being a 60 person hunt. He's got a 120 person hunt coming, coming up, up in weeks. three weeks, May the 21st. There's still tickets available. Are all your hunts in the Rhode Island area? Right now, yes. All right, well, but that means you guys got shots going back to 1600s, 1700s, almost anything, coins, buttons, you name it. So if you live nearby or if you want to take a trip out and dig some good stuff, check out Brian, again, his website, Dirt Fishing Adventures, link in the description. Reach out to him, get yourself a ticket. Doug and I might even come to the next event. I'm not sure yet, but I'm telling you, you're going to have a blast. Otherwise, let's get going. I want to find some amazing things. Let's do it. Appreciate you having us up. Thank you. All right, I heard somebody yell, and Steve and Kevin are out detecting, and uh, Steve got himself one of the tokens. Kevin, get your thing out too, if you don't mind, if you, if you still have it. Now, they did plant some of these painted coins. I think there's pennies, nickels, and quarters. Is that right? And you can redeem these for a prize. I don't know what the prize is, and at least you'll uh, be a redeemer, yeah. a redeemer. And Kevin, from what I heard, got... A silver dime that was on the surface. It was hanging right off the surface. It looks like it's 46. Older than you, Doug. What's that? He got a 46 on the surface. So, not quite a pine tree shelling, but yeah. <laughs> closer than yeah. we are. Closer yeah. than we are. He's got nice finds, fellas. Well, I got my first find of the day. I've been here about maybe half an hour. I'm trying to walk around and see what other people are finding. And this was coming up at 29 on the legend, a little bit bouncy. And when I saw it, you always think it's gonna be a silver coin, but it's a tomback button and it's got the complete shank on there. You can see the build up there on the bottom of the tomback. Let me see if I can get it over here in the shade. Look how shiny that is. When that falls out of the ground like that, it is just as shiny, just as smooth. And I thought it was gonna be a silver dime. I don't know if that pine tree shilling is going to happen or not, but I'm hoping someone gets one. But I'm just happy to be leaving with something cool. Nice colonial tomback. Awesome. Well, super cool tomback for me. Uh, the banana didn't quite make it in the hole yet, but I'm going to take a bite of it because I'm hungry. And I'm going to bury the sucker. I'm going to walk around, see what everyone finds, hopefully find some cool stuff myself. Should be an awesome day. I love natural hunts. And I want to go check out that cemetery too. Might be some old tombstones in there. Let's keep going. All right, I'm walking around and I heard someone found something good. I walked over and I found Mark over here who was on the ground digging. He's got the garage at a 400. Yes. He's got an ace 400. Same thing Rich uses. One of the guys I dig with a lot uses that. 
and Mark got this coin. Let me hunker down so I can keep my hands still. People were yelling out that you might have a KG2. I think it might actually be a King William III halfpenny, which would give you an extra 60 years on the KG2. This was like 1690s up to like 1701 or 1702. It's a little rough, but I can see the top of his hair. I can see the back of his head. I can see his hair pulled back into the ponytail back there. Hey, there's a guy here even better than me at ID and Coins. His name is Dave. If I can find him, we'll have him look at it later. Right. I, I don't want to waste your time because I know you got things to find. But I think you might have a King William III half penny, probably 1699 error. That's, That's an amazing That's find. Hey, job. awesome job there, Mark. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right, somebody found some good stuff I'm out with. Now, I know Nicola already. And I know Steph from Steph Diggs already. I've known her for years. This is Dean, who I've just met, who came up to us with a coin. And may I for a second, Steph? Yes. Now, he handed it to me first, and I and I was up front. I said, look, Steph's much better at this than I am. Yeah. What is this, and what can you tell me about it? Uh, this is a 1655 to 1658 French Liard. What, what denomination is a Liard? I thought it was like 16 years or something. I don't know. Don't quite quote me on that. Am I orienting it correctly? Is that? Yes, you are. I so am? Louis is facing right Yep. And, and what's on the back of these typically? Um, the back would say uh, Liard de France, and then it would also have the mint underneath all of Do that. you find these common enough up here where you can tell from I that? Martha's Vineyard. I had no idea what that was. We don't get a lot of 1600s down in my neck of the woods. Yep. Well, that's a fabulous font. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And there's Sylvia. Who, you have something? Oh, oh, I see a larger copper. This is Sylvia who I met this morning. You see something? I do, but it's probably just my eyes playing tricks. Right, hold on. You need the oil in the, the nose. Well, when I throw the flat, the flashlight throws up shadows for me, and that's how I can ID things. What like. you guys at home don't see is that Jay is indeed wearing the glasses of shame. Oh yeah, yeah, I have no shame in it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna hand this around to everybody, if you don't mind, and get my flashlight. We're gonna come back yeah. and see if we can ID Sylvia's uh, coin. Hang on, it's a thin sucker. Do you see a bust on this side? Maybe it's a it's, no, really okay, tough one. No. I know. Even my crud eye is not that good. I know. I thought I may have saw the very top of a head. No, I'm not sure. Farm copper. Yeah, we think some sort of a British halfpenny, but none of us can see it. But uh, hey, congratulations! At least you got something cool. You got a nice old find. Here, if you put these on, it'll help you to see it better. Yeah, yeah. See, what do you think? <laughs> you can keep them if you like. Yeah, yeah, I don't give them away to everybody. I don't give them away to everybody. That one's for you. Yeah, that's for you. Hey, nice job on the coin, though. Ron said he's got something, and he said it looks old. It looks old to me. Oh. Now, you know what? I found a lot of these type of buckles, but never in this octagonal shape. They look 1600s to me, if I'm honest. I've never seen the, the beveled on the corners like that. I mean, to I believe put that it is much in that, extra that effort. buckle book, that 1250 to 1800 buckle book that a lot of us have. Oh, I'm not included in that. <laughs> 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 I well, own no such buckle book. Library right? at home. I I'm believe sure my son owns that book. Does he really? Well. Yep, yep. Well, hey, that's a really good find. And this must have sounded good. It looks like, I agree, it's brass, yep. thin brass, and it yep. definitely yeah. looks old. And I what kind of depth? That was a foot deep. Well, hey, that is incredible, and uh, hopefully you can ID it from your uh, awesome. your Buckle magazine later. All right, awesome thank job. You. Thank you. Let's go find our own stuff, Steph. <laughs> so this is Michelle, right there, not the button, who found this really nice button, and Steph, from Steph's Digs, shout out to Steph, ID'd it as a U button? It's a U shank button from the 1600s. Wow. Not to be confused with a shank U button. Exactly. <laughs> and it looked to me... And it's a little dirty that it was only connected in one point and then this is just bent over that part is just kind of like resting in that position like a u and you said it goes back to the 1600s yep wow that's pretty amazing i've only found one i find a lot of 1600s stuff in connecticut and i've only found one of i've never even seen one before we don't get a lot of 1600 stuff at all and i even love the con cave which i always have to think about did you know the difference michelle I have to think about it. I still have to think Sorry, about it. Isn't that crazy? Well, that's a good find. Congratulations. Beats all of us. Awesome. And you can see these rock walls of New England are just everywhere. They're beautiful. There's my buddy Chris, Wicked Digger, who told us about the event we came up for. Of course, Dog Tag, Doug, Mexican, Doug, Jane, Fond Dog. And our, one of our new friends, we met Patty. And I don't know why I'm whispering, Patty. I don't know why either. I don't know. I don't know why. I didn't want to bother. There's so many people. I don't want to bother everybody. 
But Patty says she's got something good. I think it's a cufflink. Oh, I also think it's a cufflink. It's wicked pretty. I've never found Ooh. anything like that before. Did you say it was wicked pretty? Wicked, wicked pretty. pretty. It cool. is wicked I'm going to try to use wicked more today if I can. I want to fit in. I've never seen anything like it. What did you get, Patty? I can't I even tell. Oh. I think definitely think it's a cufflink. I'm trying to figure yep. out what the uh, what the image is. It kind of reminds me of like the ocean, maybe. Like, reminds you of the which ocean? Any like, ocean? The Indi like the Indian Ocean? Yeah. Or like you know the Atlantic? Can you, oh, could you like name all the oceans if you had to? I think there's seven of them. <laughs> How many can you name? Go. Oceans. Atlantic, Pacific, no, no. <laughs> Baltic Sea. Is that one? Uh, you just said sea. I don't know. I don't it's know the ocean. I have no idea. <laughs> all right, that's fair. I couldn't do it either. I don't know. I'm not even sure there's seven. <laughs> well, that's a great find. Congratulations. That's Thanks. definitely old. And uh, I do love the old couplings. Well done. Yeah. All right. We are, must be on a good little spot here. I, I haven't even got my detector on, but the stone wall is an opening that goes back to yet another field. And we're trying to stay together. And I heard Cam over here yell out something. Ooh. You know what that is, right? Yeah. How long have you been detecting, Cam? Uh, like seven years. Oh, so you know what almost yeah. all the coins are then. I wanted to sound smart and try to yeah. pretend like I knew what things were that you didn't. Now, that, for the people at home, is a standing Liberty Quarter. And these were from 1916 to 19... Help me out here. Don't even know. 1916 uh, to 19... 40, somewhere 40, around there. Yeah. Somewhere around there. I'm not really sure. And, you know, they call me the quarter hoarder because whenever I see quarters, I take them and run. I hope you don't mind. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm not like it. It. Well, hey, that's an awesome find, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And if you get a date off it later, we'll, uh, we'll check it out and maybe right. a mint mark. Cool job. We are going through the woods. There is a big open field over here, and I actually just heard Doug yell, he's got something. But on the walk out, Ken and Carol and Steph is here. Someone found a coin. Ooh, oh, that's a nice size coin. It looks like a smushed it's Indian Doug, almost. I just is. said it wasn't one. Yeah, well, I'm saying <laughs> my first glance, because it's an odd size. It doesn't look big enough to be a half cent, but it looks too big to be a small cent. And it looks oval almost, like something happened to it. Yeah, like it's not round. Yeah, could it even, could it be a button or something that maybe? No, nah, that's a coin. I couldn't find any shank posts. I don't see one either. That's a weird thing you got there. All right, he's gonna brush it. I'm gonna get my trusty, dusty flashlight out and see if we can make heads or tails of this ovular shape. Oh, uh, heads or tails. <laughs> <laughs> all right there is ken's coin and that's weird it is an indian the amazing flashlight i'm telling you i can't thank them enough for sending me that i can clearly see at around 11 o'clock some of the wreath i can see one cent in the middle it's ovular shape like it was smushed or stepped on by a big giant i thought he'd have to be really large and this side there is absolutely nothing on there but yeah pretty crazy weird shape oblong i'll pull out in the sun thank you for the for the flashlight but um yeah it's an indian probably at least uh 100 years old you know if who knows 1800s 19s but great coin man congratulations thank well you, done thank you and my buddy doug yelled he's got some sort of button i'm gonna take a walk out and let's see go he's got. yeah let's go take a stroll dog tag doug mexican doug jane fond doug out with carol our new friend and he's got his first signal not only his first signal of the day but his first signal ever with doug's new legend how do you like it so far doug well, you know, it's a little little bit uh, difficult to get used to, but, you know, once I figure all the settings out of them. Yeah. <laughs> and take a picture, Kyle. This will be the cleanest you ever see this machine because Doug never washes anything. Look, this is, that, you know, that dirt right there, Carol, will, uh, will be there three months week. from now. You don't have to tell me. I'm a dirty girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope you, my wife you want me to leave? I can video. go walk into the... <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see All right, what Doug's well, got. I've already found my first wheat penny with it. Okay. Uh, but my first colonial find is a button. What happened to it? It's in there somewhere. Let me. It's a colonial button? Yeah, it's like a colonial. A oh, here it is. Yeah. It looks like it is a plain flat button. Might have a back bar. I'm looking, yeah. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure. Your first good find, we'll yeah, say. I can't the, verify this uh, you is don't colonial. You consider wheat pennies good finds? No, no. But I mean, I didn't record the wheat penny. The first, if it didn't happen on camera, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> but your first good find. Oh, I do think I see something coming through as it dries. What do you think, Carol? Can't see it. Sorry. 
Yeah, it's tough, but it's a good find, Doug. Yeah, yeah very. Yeah. And Carol, one of the few people that I know who's ever dug one of the pine tree showings. You oak did, tree. Oh, oak, oak tree. tree. Okay. You defer to her for any, you know, to see if she's oh, yeah. cool or not. Yeah, she would know. She's got Now, what, what year was this made, in your humble opinion? It's really hard to say, but I would say 1820s to 1850s. Somewhere maybe? around there? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Flat Sounds button. good. All right. Well, hey, good job, Dougie. Thank you. Now, that's a little higher than a mid-tone, but I like there's no ferro coming up on the left side of the ferro screen. We must be right near an airport because I keep seeing these planes very low. I think they're landing just beyond that field. So if you hear that airplane sound, that's what's going on. So let's see what this is. This could possibly be a button. We're going to see. Well, I got it out that scratchy mid 30s and not every signal is a treasure. It's just an old slug from a hunter. But this is not all that old. But you know what? You got to dig some of this trash to get the good stuff out. You can see some of the, the markings on there that they would use like in forensics. You know, is it rifling? I forget the term. These are little grooves where every gun is very specific, like a fingerprint. So, all right, I'll put it in the bag. At least it's something. Let's see if we can get something a couple hundred years older. Well, it's not the greatest find I've ever had, but I'm going to put banana in the hole. A, because... It could really use some banana trees around and be because I'm hoping at least I'll find something and leave this area with something cool in my pouch. So banana in the hole, bullet in the case. Let's keep on going. All right. As I was cleaning up my bullet. Oh, wait, you see my bullet. It is awesome. Oh, is it? Yeah. But Patty came over with two good finds. I'm going to start with this one in my hand because she got a tiny, teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini sized buckle. But look at the pattern on there. It goes all the way around. It is so small. Look at look at it on my finger, Patty. And I have big, manly yeah. size hands, don't I? I? Girly hands. Well, actually, they're about well, the same yeah, size. Yeah, the same now, now, now I feel bad. <laughs> but no, she's got a beautiful buckle, and she's got <laughs> this <laughs> coin, which is either going to be a fatty Indian or a flying eagle. Now I think it's a fatty Indian because I thought I saw some of the points of an Indian's headdress. And everyone hopes, and look how thick it is. Holy cow, you could knock a guy out with that coin. Literally. <laughs> but it's possible it could be. You'll have to clean up later and hope. But I yeah. think this is the back. I think this is going to be the front. And there's some writing, very faint design. But I think right there is the orientation. And I'm going to call Fatty. Do you have a Fatty Indian in your collection? I uh, have one. So oh, okay. Yeah, I have one. Well, I think you might have two. And hopefully you'll get a flying eagle out of it but either way you got an 1850s or 60s era coin yeah, which is amazing well done and i love the little buckle yeah, awesome it's adorable. So cute. I don't know, I've never seen one like all right nicola like, found oh, something oh, cool yeah. i heard doug woo like kind of like a female rick flair yeah. but nicola got yeah. something oh like look a, at that buckle. have you ever seen one that shape before doug yeah no you have not did you really I'm always with you, and I've never seen this shape. No. Do you think I didn't have a life before you? I don't think you had a life. <laughs> but that, even now? That that's asked. beautiful. I mean, you can clearly see where the leather came in and came up, but I've never seen one that shape. Have you seen one, Steph? No, you I haven't. You dig a lot older I land than I do. Do you huh? ride horses? Nope. Okay. Uh, you think it's horse tack? Yes. It just looks so I, dainty, like with a big animal. Well, that's why like, I say it's a bridle, part of the bridle. Oh, yeah. oh where it's a little more yeah. dainty. Okay, yeah. I'll take that. That would make sense. Well, Nick, that's a beautiful find. I do love it. We don't know how it got here, but, you know, if we said we did, we'd be lying. Anyway. I would guess uh, somebody was riding a horse at. All right, Ron, he yelled out copper. Doug made a beeline over here, and we're going to take a look and see. I'll get out of the... Oh, it oh, a... it's a round circle. It's a circle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, most of the copper... Is, are... is that a Chinese coin? It almost yeah. looks like there's a it's something a weird looking, in the middle. It's uh, a weird-looking design there. There's something in the middle. As it dries out, something's coming it could through. Be yeah, old. it looks really large, like circumference-wise. Yep. Yeah, it rang up like a 76 on the Pro. All right, let's see. Which let's usually take a look. I'm going to let Ron... Yeah, it looks pretty thick. It's got some meat to it. Yeah. But uh, I'm thinking it's going to be like a uh, British... No, it's, it's Should I do the, uh, the pull pants right, rub? The PA Pirate pants rub? Yep. Do you see anything coming through? Yeah. You see the circle in the back, right? 
Right you're there. the pro, you're the pro. Let's get on. No. All right, let's see. We've got a professional here. Wait a minute. It almost looks like it has an M on the back. Oh, it's counter stamped, I think. Is that that mark I saw? Yeah. I thought I saw that too. All right, there's Ron's coin. We've been handing around for like 20 minutes. Ron hasn't touched it or seen it. <laughs> <laughs> we may not even yeah. let him keep He's it. He's a good sport, though. But it's, I, we can't ID it. This would be the front. I thought with the flashlight from one angle, I thought I saw the top of the classic head bandana. Right. You know? But I can't really tell. It's pretty toasty on this side. But the back side here is very meaty, Doug. <clears throat> And Steph pointed out before, you know, we cleaned it a little bit. You can see the America right there at one o'clock, right. which would be down here, I believe. And the counter stamp in the middle is really cool where somebody stamped in what Ron looks like an M, M. an M. So it could have been a previous owner initial, it could have been anything, you know, yeah. just something with an M, but it makes it unique, makes it personalized, which is a super cool find. Either way, you got a minimum 180 year old coin yes, back to who knows what. As thick as it is, I'm going to say it's probably U.S., and that's a heck of a good find, Especially man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Back, yeah, that's great. Congratulations, Thank brother. You. Four inches, too. Four inches deep. Man. Everyone else walked over it. You yeah. never know. Right spot, Get right time. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I think we're getting ready to move on to the next field because there's a rock wall over there, Steph. It's just calling my name. I just want to detect near a rock wall. Yeah, I just want to do it. But Steph got something, and she said it was old. Oh, it is a tiny little tomback, half dime size tomback. Bring up a five. Really, that I, low? I, I, you dig fives. I dig fives. Wow, well, hey, congratulations. I mean, a five on Steph's machine is a god awful signal. Terrible. That some people even notch out. So yeah. for you to dig it, but you know what? These tombacks, they ring up incredibly low. Every machine I ever had, a tomback like this would ring up a really undesirable tone. You might even notch it out when you were, you know, using the AC. You might, you might, yeah. This old tomback material, very cheap. They use it for buttons. They use it for some, some bells and some buckles, but it was brittle and it would break, but it was cheap. And it does not sound good on most detectors, but you get a savvy detectors who will dig it and they get rewarded. Awesome Absolutely. job. All right, we're getting ready to walk out of here. We've been detecting all day. No pine tree showing this time, Chris, oh. but oh. we found some pretty cool Maybe things. And time. on the way out near the tree, and man, I do love detecting around the base of old trees. Chris got rewarded with something pretty interesting. Look at that. Looks it's, like a dagger handle, I it think. It sure does. You can see where the dagger blade would have went in there, or like a maybe a thick letter opener, but I'm going to go with dagger. Yeah. This, I think, is plastic, so it's not super old, but this is definitely like a brass. And it's got a beautiful... Is it a bear? I believe it's a bear head. Maybe a bear or a, maybe a muskrat or something. I don't know. I don't even know what a muskrat looks like now that I say that. <laughs> <laughs> like a ferret, kind yeah. of. Yeah, it looks like a small bear yeah. head, but it could be a bear. Well, that is really cool. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to see if I can try to find Doug. Oh, there's Doug over there. Great find, brother. That's it. Thank you. Well, you know, our trip did not end with the pine tree shilling, but that's okay. We had a heck of a good time up in New England. Maybe next time we'll get one, but every single person behind me has found their own pine tree shilling. Ken got himself, what was it, a three pence pine tree? A six pence. A six pence. Carol got the big mama jama. The oak tree. The oak tree, 12 pence. Paul got himself, what was it? Three pence. A three pence. And then, of course, Lindsay got herself, it was a cut one, right? Pine tree. I think it was maybe a 12 that was cut, yep. but she's got a little piece of it. But they do exist, and anything cool is going to exist in your area. I'm telling you, you're going to love the hobby. Go out and give it a shot. Maybe you'll get lucky like these guys did and find something awesome. Otherwise, we're out of here, guys. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Later. Later. <laughs>